Hi everybody, my name is Angelica. I'm originally from California, lived there my entire life, but a month ago my boyfriend and I moved all the way across country to the East Coast to start a new life, to start a new adventure, and I'm really excited. I love it here so far. This series, which I have no idea what to call it yet, video something is gonna be filled with budget DIYs, apartment friendly DIYs. So today we're gonna tackle this wall right there, this blank wall. I went back and forth about what I wanna do with this wall because it's in the background of all my Zoom calls for work, it's in the background of my Twitch streams and videos like this, it's gonna be in the background. Thought about doing like peel and stick wallpaper. I'm only here for a few months and I really don't wanna put that much time into applying and then removing wallpaper. So then I had the idea to make my own hanging tapestry. I knew I had the fabric for it and I just needed to go by Joann's to get a few other supplies. And I thought it would be perfect because I could hang it up with a command hook. It's really easy and portable so I can use it again and again. And I can make it look like however I want. First, I went to Joann's this morning, so let me show you the supplies I got. I up this half inch by 36 inch dowel a couple rolls of macrame yarn which i'm going to use to hang it some three inch two inch and one inch brushes dowel ends and a bunch of paint just go with whatever feels right and then i already have this glue gun and this command hook that i'm used to hang it up all right welcome to my computer we are at here and we are going to draw a little sketch of what we want to do for our wall tapestry so as you can see, I have the photo pulled up on my screen on Photoshop. So this was one option is just like making it square. However, I feel like I have a lot of square things already in the room. So my other thought was instead of doing it right, was to do it just a soft point. Nothing like too dramatic or too harsh. But then I do think I want to fry all these edges and have this have a little bit of a tassel moment at the bottom. Okay, so something like this could be really cute and would definitely fit my aesthetic. I have like this orange and pink light behind me, so I think that would look really cute with that. So that's one idea. Okay, so I made a few options. Um, you saw me make this first one, which, um, and then I did this one, which I don't love it as much as I look at it. It kind of was starting to look like a tunnel or like a cave. And then there's this one which I was inspired by when I saw on Pinterest that's kind of similar and I think I could really have fun with doing like little details throughout it and maybe doing some like hand embroidery as well. And then this one is a little bit more minimal which I still really like this one. I don't know, I'm kind of torn between this really simple one and this sun. So I might have to ask some people what they think and go from there. I decided to, I decided to go with the simple lines. Now I really love the sun idea and I think I might end up doing like a smaller version and like hang it up somewhere else in the room but I think for this large piece simple lines will complement the space better I think. Yeah. I think that would be nice, about 48 inches. So I have my piece of muslin cut to how I want it. The size, I really like the size. I think it's gonna look really great. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to sew a tube at the top that the dowel can slide into. And if you don't know how to sew, you can 100% hot glue a flap down, 100%. Um, you can even get like iron sew on sew tape and use that, totally. Just be mindful of how big of a dowel you end up getting. I have a half inch dowel, so I'm gonna sew about an inch down. Okay, I put an apron on because I don't know how the least DIY girlies on the internet just do all their DIY stuff like in their normal clothes and don't get themselves uh, dirty. I already like 
already have paint on my hands. I haven't even started painting yet. So my paints are all mixed on their cardboard palettes. And I'm just gonna like wing it. I'm just gonna go to town. I have the sketch that I did on my computer pulled up, so I'll use it as a reference. But I'm really just gonna feel my feel myself and play around. Play, have fun. Okay, so here's the thing, and I'm on my phone because my camera died. I fully intended to do that, like, simple japan art. Fully intended to. And then I started adding a line here and a line there. And, well... My too much gene kicked in. I think I hate it. Through my phone, I kind of like it. I think it looks kind of cool. I'm gonna let it dry and then iron it and reflect and I don't know in the meantime I might cut another piece of muslin and try a different design that's a little more simple. I don't know. Hello. It was the next day. Wireless mic disconnected. No. Oh now it's connected. Okay. Ignore me. Still be with many of the art creations that I've done in my life. Uh, a lot of the time I hate it in the middle and I tend to just like scrap it completely. This time though, I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna finish it, finish the thought out, and if I hate it, I'm working on another one. Anyways, here's how it turned out. I mean, my boyfriend says he loves it. He says it looks really cool. He says it looks like it could be in The Sims. <laughs> And the more I look at it, the more I like it. The more I, I think I can vibe with it. So what I need to do is we want to angle the bottom a little bit. And then I would love to fray the bottom. And I tried to, to not like bring the paint all the way down, although I did do that on the blue. It's like a bluey green. But I would like to fray the bottom edges. So. I'm going to clear off my table, I'm going to take this off of the dowel, and we're going to cut the shape and attempt to start fraying the bottom of it. Let's try this. I did about, from zero at the fold here, it about three and a half inches to the side. So I'm going to take my little chalk and just chalk. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I need to determine how much I want the fringe to be at the bottom. So I think I want a decent chunk of fringe. I think I want like three inches. So basically fabric is kind of made kind of like how this mat is, is there's yarns going side to side and yarns going up and down. So our tapestry, the yarns are going this way. And this way so for this whole section I want to remove all of the yarns going side to side so that it's just left with the yarns going up and down if that makes any sense so basically I'm just taking the long yarns and separating them and the all really helps to okay so I've been here I've been here <laughs> shredding this fabric for what, like an hour now, and I've only done like this section. And I've gotten to the point where I'm like, is this even worth my time? Like, it's so beautiful outside, and I'm here with this all just like picking up thread. So, change of plans. I've started to cut little drips on here. 
about a quarter inch thick. And the, the fringe that I have cut, I'm trying to save. Um, and I'm just gonna make my own like little tassel moment instead. Hi, P. So I'm just gonna finish cutting this and then I'm gonna like kind of hang it and see how I, how it's gonna like hang down. So some key takeaways from making this tapestry mural. I would suggest before painting it to do like a light coat of gesso, which is kind of like, you can get that at the art store or craft stores. If you can't find that, um, you can just use like watered down white paint and just doing like a layer of that on your fabric before you plan on painting it. And then I guess my other takeaway is to do a practice one. <laughs> do a small version, see how you like it, um, and get the hang of painting on fabric and then try it in a larger scale. For the fringe at the bottom, I would recommend doing the fringe first before you paint, before you um, cut it into the angle. Do like a chunk of fringe at the bottom and then paint it and then you can kind of like trim the angle that you want afterwards thank you guys for watching if you tried this yourself please tag me in any pictures on instagram my instagram is angelic roses pretty much that handle everywhere on the internet if there's a platform that's my handle <laughs> in the end i think it turned out really cool and i'm excited to see if you guys try this yourselves and spice up your space in some way um and then until next time i'll see you later bye Thank you.